In a, in a, this one is a classic cut, which is a dried bull's testicle. You're joking! Is that a bull's testicle? That's it's a bull's round testicle, yeah. Round and up? Round and up. Round a, to round give it solidity? Up, yeah. Oh, after you, Jenny. <laughs> it's and you... furry. Well, aren't they all? You are here. And you just suck it through that. Yeah, you. you put that in, and then... Oh, this is all, this is all your scene, Jenny. <laughs> It's not bad, actually. It's a bit like um, cross strange. between green tea and china tea. Mm. It's, it's quite an acquired yeah. taste, yeah. Mm. Mm. I can That's imagine mm. So that really is a, a, a mm. the bull's ball. Yeah, when, yeah. They, when the gauchos are castrating well, them. I Very never, I never knew they, had, they were lined with silver. OK, listen, you talk <laughs> over this bit. Because we've, seen it, yeah. we've seen it twice now, but this is you being shot at. This is where we came in, and we saved this bit till mm. last. So we'll just show this again, but, but you, you tell us what's happening here. Yeah. Who, let's see it, please, go. So um, who, was, who was actually shooting at you, do you think? Um, this was a local farmer, basically. We didn't actually see oh, him. Yeah. We'd had a few arguments with our gaucho, our guide, um, sort of really saying, close. we can just cross this land, you know, surely no one will And he said no. Mm. Um, and, and sure enough, a day later, we were crossing someone's land without permission. Um, and, and but you never happened. actually saw him? No, no, no. They, I mean, we could see the, there's trees. They often have trees surrounding the farm to right. shelter from the wind. Right. Um, and we could see the trees in the distance. And he was shooting um, over your heads, was he? You I think? think so, yeah. I mean... Could you hear the bullets go through the air? You could, you, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. It wasn't quite a crack. It's more of a... Pff, Heavy. Uh, well, uh, I think you're fairly hmm. inept, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. obviously had a really good time. Very <laughs> nice to meet you both. Thank Cheers. You. And then we're going to see this as a program, oh. this video that you shot. Hopefully, I hope so. Yeah. I hope yeah. so. That looks yeah. fantastic. We're Get editing it at the moment, so yeah. hopefully. On the bit of us maybe catching some animals. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some of the good bits. <laughs> and that, and very good. How long did it take you from one side to the other? Uh, 40 days and 39 nights. Right. Otherwise, well, it'd be a bit too biblical. You're, you're classic English adventurers. Thank you. Yeah, you've got your grandfather's <laughs> DNA in you. Yeah. Good stuff, <laughs> well, obviously. All right. Uh, apparently, <laughs> I wish to tell you that we're, our phone in room is being deluged with calls to save Barney. I'm you're wasting your time. <laughs> He's already gone. <laughs> He's not. No, well, we'll give it some thought. <clears throat> right. Uh, Leslie Grantham's joining us live in a few minutes. Everybody remembers Dirty Den got shot. <laughs> Getting shot at. He got shot on a canal towpath 15 years ago because uh, most of us watched that dramatic episode then. But could you pick out the man that pulled the trigger from an ID parade that we're running today? We're going to ask Leslie to try when he joins us live, but you can have a go now. One of those three men was the man holding the bunch of dafts that hit the pistol that apparently killed Dirty Den. But which man was it? A, B, or C. But we'll be asking Leslie Grantham if he can remember the extra who shot him, and we'll give you the answer later in the show. This woman that's pointing a gun at Judy's head, who is she? Very quickly. Um, th that, that's our Argentinian mother. Right. Um, she, she, <laughs> she looked after you. She looked yeah, after, she looked after, after you. Very very Some, somebody very needed you, yeah. I can <laughs> tell you. <laughs> She's after the thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. with the woo good morning <laughs> i hope you all had a happy and a holy weekend welcome friends we look forward to another hour of innocent hugamuggerism <laughs> right why should you think twice about copying the explo exploits of your granddad two chaps who popped off to parody their grandpoppy in patagonia and ended up facing wild beasts and even bullets core <laughs> jesus just go just go 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 well dealt with. I thought they only shot at people up in Chile and Bolivia and places, but Patagonia? But Emma K. Now, what would you do if, while well, clearing out your attic, you came across a book that revealed that your great-grandfather was an explorer? Well, that's what happened to our next guests, who promptly decided, in their foolishness, to copy the old fella. Was it a good idea? Well, we'll find out. Here's Julian Campbell and Harry Glass. <laughs> You're going Spanish. Am I going to be able to reach over there? Harry, yeah. <laughs> don't bother. Well, Terence, how are you doing? <laughs> nice to see you both. It's, is it your grandfather or your great? My great grandfather, yeah. Your great grandfather. Yeah. We have a picture of the, of the fine the, man here. Let's there's have a look. the book. That's yeah, the book wrote, that you yeah. dug up in the attic. Yeah, that's Through right, Patagonia, yeah. a couple it says. Of years ago. There's, there's your look. We have there's a the man. Where are there's a light. You see the family? I'm trying to, yeah. I mean, I love the pose, don't you? That's great. 
<laughs> look out, look a out. lost explorer, I think. So you yeah. tell us about so found this book. Yeah, that's right. Uh, a couple of years ago, actually. It should have been like a sort of, you know, one of those parts in a film where you find the book and the treasure yeah. map and go for it. Yeah. Uh, but I was a bit slow on the uptake, so it took another year to sort of, you know, prepare the thing. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we sort of went out there and, and followed it and used that as our guidebook. <laughs> yeah. Now, Harry, how, how come you got involved, obviously not being related? <laughs> <laughs> they found me in the attic as well. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. And the pipe. <laughs> yeah. the pipe in the I've yeah. been waiting a while for this. Um, <laughs> No, I'm an old school friend, basically. Uh, we went to school and with Ollie as well. We went to the same school and, uh, well, I wouldn't let them go without me, basically. Well, no, no, we were on, off lads. to Patsy. You yeah. didn't go travelling dressed like that. Yeah. You did. Yeah. This, this is did. town and so country. This is you did. This so is you, did you yeah. literally go by your great-grandfather's book? Exactly, And this yeah. is exactly yeah. what there's he... A little, there's a little sort of shopping list in there, he says, which, you know, you need strong breeches and a wide-awake hat and so forth. And obviously a Victorian gentleman in the towns in Buenos yeah. Aires would have been wearing But you are piece, like two characters piece. from a Harrison Ford movie. It, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> it does look a bit, yeah. Travelling yeah. dressed like this is excellent fun. You get a lot of attention. You are quite... <laughs> a lot Harry, of respect. Harry Potter goes to Patagonia well, to yeah. Yeah. I bet. I bet that went down one of the locals. The what, what, what's that yeah. you've got there? You've got some props with you. Is that a bolas? These are, this, these are bolas. Ah, this the is the boleadoras, which, oh. uh, which actually means bulls. Uh, yeah. There are three of them. Um, and this is what they used to uh, hunt their food, basically. This is what we had to try and catch you our swing food. Swing it around your head. You have to... <laughs> I'm, what did I'm you not going to try it here yeah. completely. What did you catch with that? Well, Nothing, to be honest. This is the problem. <laughs> they're, they're quite aptly called bulls, because you quite often find yourself throwing them and then... Oh, so <laughs> so we, we actually have some evidence of you trying to catch some food. Yeah, yeah the, we tried to catch a lot of things. The, these we tried so to catch ostriches from horseback. Let's have a look. Let's have a look and also see you try to, 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 to fend yeah. off starvation yeah. on the Patagonian <laughs> desert. What's that? This is this is a small armadillo called a peach. You're chasing an armadillo. They can, they yeah. can turn on a sixpence. <laughs> they uh, they corner very well, so it's hard to catch them. And, uh, <laughs> look at that. We do. <laughs> So, I mean, were you actually <laughs> successful at catch it? Oh, we, we, well, yes. Yeah. Anyway. The one that got yeah. away. We did. We I, I suppose you cook them the way that, that uh, mm. your your people cook hedgehogs. You put put them in there. My people? Your what people. do you mean, my people? You mean the Baxendale family <laughs> cook hedgehogs? What do you mean? In the Baxendale estate? Uh, uh, don't don't flinch. A, gypsy, a gypsy friend of mine was asked, you cook hedgehogs, what does it taste like? He said, a bit like chicken and a bit like cat. <laughs> now, what did the armadillo taste like? Nothing like chicken. Whatsoever. Nothing like chicken. How did you get through the, the, uh, the armor? The opposite. Luckily, there's not very much. Um, you sort of turn them up and you roast them on hot stones. Okay. Um, and so, the, I know it sounds... And like then they scoop out the middle. They're, yeah, nice. exactly. Did you, did you meet any Welsh people down there? We did, yeah. Because yeah. The, the Welsh went to... Oh, emigrated to Patagonia, didn't they? Mm. A lot they did. of Welsh miners. Yeah, they did, and, and they now talk Spanish with a Welsh accent. Yeah. Do they? Yeah, they it's do. Hola. <laughs> Hola. 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 At the end. You, your great-grandfather wrote this guidebook. Yeah. Did you take any of his advice from the book? We did. I mean, it's surprising how horse trekking hasn't changed much in hundred years, and Patagonia hasn't changed too much either. Um, but every time we sort of ignored his advice, some, we came a cropper, like, um, we didn't choose our first guide very well, and he abandoned us after 11 days. Um, sort of left us in the middle of nowhere. And just did he take all he your underwear all, with him? No, he took all the horses. No. <laughs> what, was, oh, what was the <laughs> toughest part of doing it? Because, all right, mm. you, you're obviously being very good humoured about it. It can't have been that easy, mm. and Patagonia is a pretty unrelenting kind of landscape, mm. isn't it? It's what? pretty It's pretty wild. They say it's um, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid went there because the Wild West wasn't wild enough after for them for a while. Um, and uh, we were actually shot out at well, one point. Hang on, we got to, I think we have some, yeah, I think once again, evidence of you being shot. Why were they shooting at um, I don't know, didn't like the cut there's, of there's, gear, a, there's a lot of, well, they have a lot of, sort of sheep rustling and all that sort of thing. Uh, and you look, so they, you look it, like a sheep well, rustler. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> three strange people in years. Yeah. Um, Can we have a look at this? Uh, yeah, that's so they, um, we, we think we could have been mistaken. That's my brother, Ollie. Who's, um, the hell was that? That's me swearing. Well, well That's really close. Notice yeah. the lack of cover. Jeez! <laughs> 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 well... It's like head oh, fall. <laughs> That's when you sort of realise. It's, sort of, it's a sort of dawning realisation. <laughs> 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 
And really, when you hear a gunshot, you just want to hide behind something. Oh, that's something, terrible. So was that the point where hide behind your horses? <laughs> was that the point maybe where you thought you want to give up on this? It sounded a great idea when yeah. you were in your nice Surrey uh, well, attic. It's quite but, fun in a way. Yeah. <laughs> are you going to turn this into it's a documentary? Game, right? Yeah, we are. That was another hard thing. So we had to film all this as well. Yeah. It's hard enough actually. Yeah, well, there the wouldn't be much point you doing it if you didn't film well, it and, yeah. and, and give people a chance to yeah. see it. Exactly. And so where, you, where, where next? Um, or have, have you where found to, another book by your great grandfather? Yeah, uh, he went to the Caribbean, I think. Yeah, I think Caribbean, eh? Yeah, Barbados. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he may have lived on a, lived like on a beach maybe. for a while. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think yeah. it's a very brave and remarkable thing to do. Yeah, well yeah. done. Both yeah, of you. and uh, thanks for well, sharing your adventures. If with anyone us. wants to see more, there's, we've got a website which is throughpatagonia.co.uk and you can sort of see photos. So it's what, three? Through Patagonia. Through Patagonia. Patagonia. Yeah. Yeah. .co.uk. Thank you both. Thank you very much to you and Harry. Julian and Harry, that's a good tale. And after the break, the man who spanked the Yanks. Ryder Cup captain, yeah! Sam Torrance. Spank the Yanks, I like that. Oh, Plus, I ITV's <laughs> latest attempt to woo drama viewers with their explosive new production, POW. And we'll be showing you how to eat yourself happy, not with armadillos, fortunately, this winter. See you in a minute. <laughs> We got emails here, son. Go on, then. We got a few mates, despite all the time you took over that, uh, whatever it was. Well, quality TV, sir. Quality TV. And that pigeon. 